Hey, what is up everybody? Blades for here and today I have for you guys another video of Persona 5X. Inside of this video, guys, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to take out most, if not all, of the um, mini bosses inside of Mementos being on the third floor here. Now you're gonna get a bunch of these mini bosses that are gonna be actually kind of difficult once you get to the third floor here, and which will be very interesting to say the least. So I ended up taking one of these guys out, and which you should find him, I think, down here as well. In which um unfortunately i don't have the footage for it but i will tell you his gimmick here because we did actually do it um fully pretty much what you want to do for that one down here since i don't have the footage here is the boss which is a matador has three little functions he either glows red purple or green if the boss uses a red buff which is usually always on the first turn here you're actually able to hit him with persona moves at all times now, of course, if the boss glows green here, you actually need to shoot him with a character. Try to only shoot him once because he will snap into a different um, a different status effect or glow after you do shoot him. And then, of course, you want to go ahead and also um, pay attention to when that does swap. The other one that he goes into with the aura is going to be a purple aura and which will end up um, actually needing you to do a melee attack. Pretty much do that. With just as many single targeters as possible and you should get through it pretty darn easily now the team that you want to use is the team i'm currently using in the top right here but um for this challenge which is also a matador it's going to be a little bit different now the reason why this one's going to be a little bit different is because it does have a different gimmick here in which we need to kill whatever spirit that is going to be next to him first so then he'll actually won't want to fight us so that will happen for two turns where he won't want to fight us in which then he'll actually summon the thing again so pretty much we got to be uh, at least very docile the first turn wait till he summons a whatever type of persona is going to be on his side and then knock him out immediately so the team that we're going to be utilizing to do this is the same one as i did for the first uh the first mob here which is going to be on Arai and morgana of course if you don't have morgana you could very well use cattle i don't advise it but it is possible to use cattle as well. But one of the most important things that you're really gonna wanna have is definitely this persona here, specifically for Wonder, mainly because you want to have the move that actually takes down their defense. But um, let's go ahead and get straight into it. We're gonna try and knock out the last other Matador as well that's in this area as well. So let's get to it. Now, I know a lot of you guys probably see the English translating here as well. You guys want this i'll be sure to have it down below in the uh comment section but as we did say we got to make sure homie summons whatever is next to him so first round be sure to go ahead and guard up he's gonna attack and he does hit pretty darn hard um so be sure to at least have your characters level 30 which shouldn't be hard to do um especially seeing that i haven't even went past the first palace fully so um yeah just be sure to do that now, what you want to do your second turn is we want to kill that little spirit that he summoned immediately. So try to use hot variations to give yourself that attack boost that you very well do need here and immediately go after the little spirit. Now, as it did say, this man is going to lose all will to want to fight once we, of course, um, kill off the spirit here and we'll have two whole turns to deal as much damage as possible. So let's try not to focus on him whatsoever. We want to use side destruction, which is going to be the one that takes down the defense here. So let's go ahead, smack the little guy on the left. Now, the little guy has no defense here, and this is where we have a little bit of fun. So I'm going to go ahead and actually I might can use. Hmm. Let's try to use Miracle Punch and hopefully we do get the hit. Easy dice. We got some health back. So that's what I was looking for here, but there we go getting some nice damage off and we're going to focus everything and i mean absolutely everything on this persona right here now i would go ahead and hit the aoe but of course he's going to dodge it so it won't really mean too much to do so but let's quickly do our immensely just to make sure he dies here boom so now matador doesn't want to fight us anymore we have two turns to do as much damage as possible so let's use side destruction to bring down that defense while also doing some nice damage. There we go. And then we're going to slowly but surely repeat this process. Now, normally I would do On's move here, but we're actually going to go ahead and use Arise move here because it does help out the electric damage. And this is what he is weak to. So this is what you really want to be utilizing 
to get you those um, electric boost here, as well as get everything set up perfectly. So let's go ahead and use this. And slowly but surely, oh, we missed that. Unfortunate. That's some damage that we missed out on. But um, let's continue going ahead and shocking homie, dealing as much damage as possible because we do have these two turns. We have to make them count. Now, the reason that you want to use the single targets is because those are the ones that give you the status effects. So, of course, if you can get those status effects, that is going to be absolutely amazing. Now, as you can see, he's back and wanting to fight. So what we're going to go ahead and do. We're going to buff up this turn, actually. And actually, I want to give us the beats. So let's use party real quick. So we can get more, of course, damage in the long run based off the at least beats that we get from this. So let's go ahead and use this. And then immediately we're going to go ahead and get back to guarding up because once again, he's going to deal a lot of damage. So at all costs, don't ever not guard when he's able to attack you. That's going to be what you really want to just kind of not get hit by. But as you can see, the persona is now back. We're going to go ahead and kill that off once again here and um, try to knock them all out immediately. So first things first, I would like to ult actually let's get the double here go ahead and do this we're gonna ult with on which should do a lot of damage in general and i'm pretty sure he can't dodge on's ultimate as well so let's quickly do this and just get rid of him immediately here or get rid of the uh persona next to him as fast as possible Alrighty here, bink, bink, bink. All right. All right, so that's some nice damage. That's some nice damage that saves us a little bit of time here. And now we can go ahead, use this to take down the defense, which I probably should have did that first, especially seeing that the persona was still here. And now at this point in time, continue hitting at all times. Miracle Punch is gonna be your best friend, especially seeing that you can easily heal everyone off of that as well. So surely keep using it when you can. But when Morgana gets a little too low, of course, get a nice heal off. That would be also really good to keep your team sustained. But once again, placing as many of these debuffs on as possible. And that's one whole turn here. He's still kind of dazed here because luckily we killed him in the same uh, time here. I'm going to use this once again. Oh, we got a crit too. That's actually lovely damage right there. And then, although I want to hit him again, I would like to make sure like once he does come out of this, try to keep yourself healed. Don't let uh, Morgana be too far or at least too, too low. That's not going to be a good uh, situation for you in the long run. So use him with another weakness. Another reason Morgana is absolutely amazing is because he has a chance of doing that as well. Stack up another fire stack on him. And we're back in the ballpark. So if we're lucky, he should summon the persona fairly, fairly soon. Oh, see, that would have utterly killed us if we uh, didn't heal earlier. So let's not use anything that could possibly get us killed here. Use that here. Morgana is going to probably get hit head on next round, which is not going to be good for us, of course. But um, I don't think we really got a little bit of a choice. Actually, you know what? Let's go ahead and use a heal capsule here. Make sure he stays himself pretty decent. And then let's heal everybody up here. Make sure everyone's staying pretty decent. And then the other two, since they are very squishy, immediately get them guarded. It's going to be a little bit of a risk, but I'm pretty sure Wander can tank it. So um, I'm mainly only worried about our Morgana here. But all right, so we're looking pretty decent. All right, we got status effects off, of course. He is, of course, getting past that to burning anomaly, which does kind of suck, but it is what it is. Now, once again, this is the whole reason why Okeon is so amazing for this, of course. We're going to buff ourselves again. And oh my god, this actually took a while too. So we were actually just, um, 
I don't know. You guys let me know. Actually, we might we might just cut the other battle a little bit in half. I'll tell you guys how, exactly how to do it. But um, we might cut that one in half a little bit here. But um, go ahead. Get our buffs on, of course. And now for this one, we're immediately going to use. I want to say side destruction first. I know it's not going to hit homie over here to the right, but we're going to hit him on the left to get down that defense down. And then let's go ahead and use Arise Ultimate. And this should get us some nice, nice damage here. So, uh, nice, nice damage on both of these guys here. And then let's see if we get a Miracle Fist off as well. Easy critical right there, giving us that nice old heal that we needed. Oh, and we got a critical heal too. And now we can just go ahead and finish the boss off. Because now at this point, he does not have any want to attack us whatsoever. So this is just easy eats. So go ahead, heal up a little bit more. At this point, we can literally just go all out and try to uh, smack homie on down here. As you can tell, all those status effects paid off and we easily clear this guy. So as you can notice, pretty darn easy. Don't have anything special. I'm literally rocking three star weapons and no artifacts right now. And we just easily beat that guy. So um, it does take you, of course, to have to think a little bit, but that is, of course, one of them. Now, for time's sake, seeing that this is a long video, I did not actually expect that to take us too much time. We're just going to go ahead and fight this one down here. I think there might be another one up there as well, but um, you guys will know three out of these guys. So uh, we do have to add on to this. We will, but um, yeah, actually, yeah, we'll just do them all. We'll do them all. So for this next one, I'll explain the gimmick, of course, to you guys. Um, This might be a little bit of a longer video as usual. I'm probably going to do a lot of cutting and things like that, of course to uh, show you guys exactly how this does work immediately because I don't really want to leave you guys off fighting these dudes alone, especially since uh, they're not the nicest of characters to go against here. So in this one here, we're gonna be fighting a, oh, it's a doubler. Okay, so we got a horse here and we also have the Matador. Now for this one immediately, what's, what's the Matador doing? So he has a fixed probability of dodging he has a chance of dodging uh, skill attacks and things like that. Oh, yeah. So this is the one that pretty much dodges certain things and it will rotate. As for this guy here, he's just going to be with him. So we're just going to go ahead and try to kill him off. Once again, whole thing with this, be sure to watch whatever stinking uh, what's it called rotation he has on. So if it's red, we need to hit him with a persona. If it's uh, green, we need to be careful with this one so firstly let's see if we can hit him first round we might not can hit him first round and uh that might be a little thing that we have to learn here but we'll see oh no we can hit him first round cool all right we're good he doesn't have any buffs on currently but if he had a buff on of course we would have to go ahead and just not hit him the first round and things like that but um let's use these get some nice damage off and then if this goes pretty smooth here for the first round, I will go ahead and I'd uh, skip through this as well, because I don't want you guys sitting through this the whole thing, to be honest. But um, let's go ahead and use this. Should have used the fire one to actually give us the fire stack here, but I want to see something real quick. Okay, he is attacking back. All right, so this one, when it's green, when it is green, and that's specifically only for him, we need to attack with a actual gun move. So before anything, go ahead and get our buff. I definitely am going to use the uh, the green one first. I mean, the uh, big one first here. Now I wonder if his is gonna change mid game like the other one did, it might not. So we're gonna actually see. So gun, you gotta use it. Boom. That's the only thing that hits him. It doesn't look like, of course, that um this is like the last time where um he will swap multiple times. So what I'm gonna do, we're gonna hit him with that a few times. And then for this one here, 
We'll go ahead and do metal uh miracle punch. Get that on him as well, get some nice damage, get everyone healed on up. And then we'll go ahead and use. I think this will be good because this should still hit the matador. Even though um he is in a different state, this should still hit him, and which will be good for us to get overall damage. Alrighty, so nice damage immediately here. I kind of want to attack again, but I think he might dodge this. Let's see. Oh no, he doesn't dodge it. Cool, awesome. Um, let's go ahead and focus. Pretty sure he's gonna dodge one of these, and I don't want to take the chance of him getting a buff off of dodging. So not gonna go for him right now and i think we should just try to take out this one on the left because he's gonna be a little bit of a problem if we let live too long so right everyone's gonna take some damage all right so we're gonna continue rinsing and repeating this but um yeah i'll show you guys the ending afterwards all right so finally coming to the end of the fight here we are pretty much done with this dude um he did kind of try to draw us out just a little bit in which um be careful on using your gun bullets of course i forgot of course that uh that could kind of backfire on us we did use a lot of our uh the gun bullets very very early so uh be careful on that but um had to speed up the process a little bit because it was taking a little bit a long time of just um i want to say rinse and repeat 24 7 but once again we don't have our gun with us for this one so we got to guard up we do have one on Morgana. So let's go ahead. One. Oh. Oh. Okay. So now you want to dodge. Yeah, hold on. Let's just guard for good measure. And let me go ahead and actually use the highlight real quick. Don't understand why he dodged just then. But, um, Mink. He's gone. Okay, cool. There you go. But pretty much. After you get rid of this dude here, you'll pretty much be goaded and you can just go ahead and just bully the Matador to death. So that's how you do that one. Be careful on your gun bullets. That should be pretty much the easiest thing to go ahead and say. But um, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and get us to the next one and see if there is another one around here. So give me one second. Once again, we're here on the map. Wait a minute, we're right here on the map, but yeah. All right, so we're back with this one here and this one is a little bit tricky. Now I did do it off camera um at least once here and i can straight up tell you one thing's for sure is the one on the left you can easily kill this is a double matador one it's a little bit tricky still bring the same team it definitely does get the job done here but um you kind of want to be a little careful on this one because the one on the right doesn't go by the normal rotation that i keep mentioning here. so um let's go ahead and actually inspect real quick just to make sure so i want to know what this is here pack boosted when there's a companion or an enemy being targeted. Okay, cool. So we already got that. Cool. All right. So first things first, try to get rid of the one on the left first. Or actually probably it's however you want to get. Probably the one on the right now that he's uh, having the boost here. Especially since he has the uh, nasty boost, which is the uh, attack one. But I think he dodges more often because he just dodged that even. So... Yeah, one on the left is probably the one to go with, but we're going to continue hitting the one on the right just to make sure. Yeah, so take whoever has the buff, the attack buff down immediately first. Um, That could either be the left one, it could either be the right one, but normally it's going to be the left one. The right one actually happened to get it this time, but um, yeah, we're going to go ahead, make sure he dies. Now, I do have this on here, and they used a buff on themselves here so first let's go ahead and make sure we know this buff here 100 percent probability of doing a normal of dodging normal attack and dodging a gun attack so um all right so we can only use of course our uh what is it called our persona once again here so once again let's get okay okay on out here or okay on here boom All right, boom. So we're pretty much golden now. We're, we're pretty much all good to go. And all we need to do, side destruction, make sure they're at least getting lowered a little bit here. And then let's focus this dude on the right as much as possible. Now, Morgana needs to live, so 
keep him healed. And let's just try to get rid of homie on the right. Homie on the left is going to have to wait his turn because he's not the one really at the top of the list at the moment. But um, let's continue just bombarding him. I am kind of worried about uh, Closer dying a little because she actually is really, really needed with this. But um, okay, normal attacks and dodge gun receive gun attack so once again we should still be in a good light here oh i don't want to really cut this one because this one's really really tricky so you got to really pay attention to um what we can do and what we can't do every stinking turn so the one on the right i mean on the left is going to be a little bit of a problem because he keeps dodging but that's perfectly fine for us get everyone healed I do want to attack with Arai, so let's quickly go ahead, kill homie. And then I think that's enough to straight up kill, so let's just, oh, wait, I forgot. He doesn't take physical damage. That was a, I whiffed. I just whiffed so hard right there. But, um, oh, this is gonna hurt. Oof, that hurt a lot, but it is what it is. All right, so now let's check homie what he's at least inflicted with. So he can dodge gun attacks and he can dodge skill attacks. So I think this is skill. Attack. So we need to attack him regularly if I'm right. Get us a couple beats. And all right, boom, there we go. Now we will be streaming of course later on tonight. So of course, if you guys want to stop by, go ahead and uh, stop by later on today but boom he can get hit by his regular hits here so that's good let's quickly heal up and then we don't want to lose a rye so what i will go ahead and do is we're going to guard since he does have burn on him let's go ahead and use on's ultimate boom all right and let's get some nice damage off as well all right, so whoever does not get the attack buff, of course, is always going to dodge skills. So pretty much on this one, if they don't have the attack buff, just know all the time they're going to dodge just regular persona skills. So be sure to always box, like just have your hands ready and be ready to smack this guy up. So. All righty. Now we got this one here. Uh huh. Uh. Got some more nice damage off here. Actually should have uh, healed there. Ooh, but it was worth the critical. So we'll take it. Oh, the double crit. Okay, that's okay. We're kind of cooking now. And there we go. Boom. So that one's all done. Um, Was a little tricky the first time I did it. But of course, focus whoever has the attack buff on um, with just skills. Once they're gone, you focus the other one with just a ton of just basic attacks but um all right so we're done with this one here and i think there is probably one more here or one more on the far left so i'll go ahead and cut real quick and get that settled so see you guys in a second okay so we actually went through the rest of the map here and that is all of the matadors here so let's take a quick little refresher here so you'll find your first matador around this little box here in this square in which you need to cycle with him okay whatever his buffs will be if it is a purple buff you have to hit him with a basic attack if it is a green buff you have to shoot him um with your gun of course and if it is a red buff you can hit him with a persona now he will release fluctuate through those every time you hit him once so surely be careful the second one of course that i would like to go over here is going to be pretty much i think it was at the bottom right here which we went over on the video of course so go ahead and go back and go um check that out as well i think that was the one where he had the minion in which what you end up doing you kill off the minion it'll make him utterly not want to fight anymore and so then you box him on up and you'll be pretty much set from there um so that was the second one. then we have the third matador which was up here at this point immediately and this one up here, you really just wanted to go ahead and, uh, what's it called? 
knock him out a little bit. I think he also carried a, yeah, he carried the horse in which when you killed the horse off, of course, it made it way easier to kill him as well. So surely uh, make sure you just do that as well because then it makes the whole fight easier. Um, if you don't do that, he is going to have a little bit of attack buff, which can utterly destroy you in the long run. Um, I might be getting these two a little bit mixed up, but you guys can rerun and check. Now, when it comes down to the fourth one here, which is probably the hardest, which is the double matador, of course, whoever has the attack buff um, up here, whoever has the attack buff, you kill them off first with just persona hits, of course, because that's all you can hit him with. And then you immediately want to go ahead and only melee attack the other one. All right, you can melee attack, you can highlight them, but those are the only things you can do to him. So surely keep that in mind. But um, hopefully you guys enjoy this video. I hope it's not too, too long. I'm going to try to edit this together a little bit here. But once again, stop by for the stream. I'm going to try and get this up before we actually go on stream, which should be around 730. So um, yeah, it's going to be freaking interesting Um, for the team that you guys want to go ahead and use. You guys already see it right there um, on my screen immediately. If you want a closer look, we actually can go ahead and pull that up right now. This is the team. This is the team. You can, of course, use Adol instead of Morgana, but definitely try to keep on and uh, a ride together. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, smash that like button with your forehead. Consider subscribing if you are new. Oh, gosh, this was a mouthful of them. And uh, see you guys later. Peace.